Tom Bergeron is not happy at all that Sean Spicer is a contestant on the upcoming season of Dancing with the Stars. Bergeron made his feelings known shortly after he introduced the cast on GMA this morning. My preference, it's not my call, other people book the show, um, would have been to avoid any political lightning rods. I think dancing at its best is an oasis away from all the divisiveness and all of the stuff that we're all wrestling with uh, right now. In a tweet, he added, we can agree to disagree as we do now, but ultimately it's the producer's call. Spicer served as President Trump's first press secretary and was famously spoofed by Melissa McCarthy on SNL. Before we begin, I know that myself On social media, his selection on dancing is not sitting well with everyone. He repeatedly lied, goes one tweet. He belongs on a blacklist, not in a waltz. But others disagree, pointing out that Trump's energy secretary, Rick Perry, and Bristol Palin have appeared on dancing in past seasons. The rest of the new cast is non-controversial and is headlined by the ageless supermodel, Christy Brinkley. Christy Brinkley, my friend. Christy, I can imagine they have been trying to get you on the show for years. They have. Yeah. I'm so you... flattered that they've asked me for so long. Looking amazing at 65, Christy says she's representing women her age. You know, it's really important to just throw caution to the wind. Also in the cast, Dawson's Creek's James Vanderbeek. And I was like, what's the most fun, craziest thing I can do? <laughs> and this came up and I was like, I really want to do that. Kate Flannery also joins the cast. She played Meredith in The Office, still one of the most popular shows in the world in reruns. The show is like a party, and I've never refused to go to a party. Rounding out the cast, troubled former NBA player and ex-husband of Khloe Kardashian, Lamar Odom, bachelorette Hannah Brown, and a big surprise, 75-year-old Mary Wilson of The Supremes. Oh